Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and a very warm welcome to you all to Travel Vlog Jamie. I am currently sailing on a three night cruise on board p and Aurora from Southampton to St. Peter's Port, Guernsey and back again. I've also gone back inside. Oh my goodness gracious me. Yes, here's my tour and review of cabin A297. It's forward, it's starboard side. It's inside. It's also sideways. Inside, sideways, sideways, inside. Let's do this. So welcome to deck 11 A deck. Now, as you can see below my deck, there are other passenger cabins and above we've got a lot of busy venues, but will that impact on noise levels? Here's a quick peep at the deck plan showing you the location of my cabin A297. Unlike most standard inside cabins, the entrance to this one is actually along the side. Not only that, but the location of my cabin is actually right next to the stairwell and the lift. In fact, will you believe this? This is my cabin right here. Well, it's not a difficult one to find, is it folks? Right, come on in. So literally the entrance to my cabin is just around the corner. Here we are. This is what we call a sideways inside cabin. Get me, eh? Welcome to A297. Come on in. Well, sideways, as in when you enter the cabin, your bedroom is directly to the right of you. Ordinarily, you'd have like a little passageway, a hall with a storage space and your bathroom either side. What this means, folks, is you actually have more floor space in a sideways cabin like this. Moving on swiftly. And at the foot of the bed, look at this for floor space in an inside cabin. Woohoo! Um, around this side, it's kind of like standard um, space either side of a bed. This is kind of what you can normally expect. Not only that, we have more fabulous floor space over here. It's like a little living area. Look, I'm going to call this like a kissing couch. It's tiny. Okay, I've got the excitement out of the way about how much floor space there is in this inside cabin. It makes a difference though in terms of your comfort levels. So, uh, you can operate all the electricity uh, via these switches in the middle of the bed. Uh, we've got a bedside lamp either side. You can operate these individually. And we also have bedside units either side as well. Uh, shelf space plus two decent side drawers. I'm not going to show you these. It's got me meds in and me pantyhose. You don't want to see that, do you? You do? No, you don't. A little bit of wall art for a splash of colour, which actually I really do appreciate. Uh, let me just show you the drawer spaces over here. These should be empty. Yes, they are indeed. And for your information, you are indeed able to store your luggage under the bed. Absolutely. Plenty of room for your cases. And a peep at the cabin from this angle because angles and perspectives are everything, my darlings. You may have noticed as you come into the cabin, there is a floor to ceiling length mirror, which of course adds to the sense of space and light. Not only that, you can doll yourself up beautifully. Storage space, it looks really odd, doesn't it, with all this space around the wardrobe areas? Well, um, storage space on board is pretty decent, actually. Let's have a peep in here. And before you say, oh, where are all your clothes? It's just a three night cruise. Keep yourselves calm. Now then, there's two very good shelf spaces up here, as you can see. Plenty of hanging space, uh, loads and loads of hangers. The only thing I would say is no wire hangers. Uh, they do offend me just somewhat. And down here, again, lots of space for your shoes, your bags, whatever you want to put. You could actually put your luggage down there as well. And to the right hand side, we have more hanging space. Um, this time we've got two rails here. Again, lots of coat hangers. If for any reason you felt you needed more, just ask your cabin stewardess or steward. Oh, I didn't notice that. Look, you could probably put your ties here, hang your knickers, whatever you want, my darlings. Maybe a bit of jewelry. Gorgeous. And to the left, we have our safe. Ta-da! No need to pay extra to use that, thankfully. 
and underneath that we have a fridge i do appreciate having a fridge in my cabin even though there's nothing in it right now there will be i promise you uh it's a good cool temperature as well on piano each adult is allowed to bring on board 750 mils of wine or bubbles uh, to be consumed in your cabin if you want to consume wine as in your own wine or bubbles anywhere else on the ship it will cost you 25 pounds corkage fee you have been warned and let's go down here so we have four drawers oh no you know what's next wow what a beast i'm going to call her valerie okay two speed settings speed setting number one number two There are three heat settings. I'm going straight in for the hottest, and as always, let's hope I don't need air lifting off the ship to A&E. Ready? Oh, it's getting hotter now. All right, it's not the hottest blow. Uh, if you've got a big size bush, I think you'll need to be at it a little bit longer. If you've got a medium sized bush, this will be perfectly adequate for you. I know, I need to work on my narration a little bit. Thank you for that, Valerie. And oh my goodness, you don't see my smalls. I wanted to just show you how much space is in these drawers. I think a good amount of storage space, don't you? And our workstation slash vanity area, kind of a small one, but what I will say is that it's a very good size mirror. And indeed, if you're sat here applying your makeup or whatever, you're not gonna have to stretch or extend your neck to see yourself. That I know some of you appreciate. <laughs> I know because you've told me. All right, we also have a drawer right under here, tucked away, quite handy. And um, a rack here where your cabin stewardess or steward will put all your little documents for your cabin, your rise and shine menu, um, a look at the room service menu, etc. There is a switch behind here to illuminate. Now here's a very odd thing. There's only one outlet UK socket in the whole of this cabin. So you're gonna wanna bring a multi-purpose adapter or dare I say, uh, an extension lead. Make sure, of course, it complies with health and safety regulations on board p &O. All right, just to the left-hand side of our vanity area, we have, oh, I suppose it's like a, a, a small lounge area, isn't it? Uh, I kind of appreciate this. Now, this is where you've got your uh, kettle and tea and coffee making facilities with UHG milk and also your biscuits. They should be replenished every day. If they're not, just ask your cabin stewardess or steward and they will rectify. Um, this is, someone said online, oh, it's like a chaise longue. Um, I wouldn't really call it long. Um, it's not the most overly comfy couch, but you know, I appreciate having the extra space somewhere to sit and have your room service. And indeed, there's a, a smallish table, perfectly formed, and thank goodness for it being maneuverable. Nobody puts Jamie in the court. Oh, look, let's have a peep at the cabin from this angle. Honestly, I think this is superb space for an inside cabin. Go on, admit it. For a standard, this isn't bad, is it? I forgot to mention as well, up here, we have a hook. So hang your coats, your hoodies, your oversized pants, whatever. I don't mind. Okay, um, I wanted to also mention this television. It's pretty small and it's quite limited in terms of channels. There's no um, on-demand or anything like that on this TV. It's quite small to watch from the bed. You might need your glasses for that one, folks. Okay, let's head into the Plastic Arama bathroom. Oh my goodness me, I nearly forgot. Aircon. Um, it's always on, so your choice is either cooler, uh, somewhere in the middle, or warmer. Sorry about that. Right, please do mind your step. We don't want you falling in, cracking your head open or anything like that, do we? Look, this is plastic arama. There's no doubt about it. And the color, I mean, it changes depending on the lighting. Um, I thought it was kind of like a, a peach or magnolia color. And even in the shower, it kind of sparkles. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a sparkly effect. Right, the first thing you're going to say is um clingy shower curtains these are the traditional clingy types not like the ones i had on princess recently that don't stick to you um i can forgive i can can i forget 
Maybe. And of course, we have one cheeks, two cheeks, ra 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 ra. I don't get sucked in, no, no, no. That would be very difficult to explain to your insurance company, my darlings. So I like to do a toilet test. And when I say that, <laughs> I mean, in terms of your leg room when you're sat down, you know, some cruise cabins, you're like this, aren't you? Trying to do your business. Um, look, woohoo. Okay, I'm not the tallest of creatures. Um, but I think that's pretty good for your leg room if you're on the john. Um, look, you could even have a chat with your loved one outside as well. How gorgeous is that? Yay! Oh, and what's really important as well, the loo roll. It's in front of you. It's not like way behind you, so that you're stretching and, and pulling muscles. It's in front, I like that. There's lots of shelf space underneath the sink basin. Uh, we've got some uh, shelf space around the sink basin as well. Oh, look, do you like my clips, by the way? me towels love it um we've got just the one product on the shelf here uh it's white company flowers jasmine rose and neroli this is your hand wash now then uh plenty of mirrors here that's just a sense of space and light in here we've got uh four shelves which i think is pretty good going actually and don't you worry because over here We've got four more, I believe. Oh, no, we haven't. I can't count. Uh, one, there's three here. But in addition, we've got our shavers only point or for your electric toothbrush. And the good thing about this is you could easily just leave your toothbrush or shaver, whatever, just here. It's not going to be dangling from the ceiling like in those modern uh, day cruise ships. Let's check out the shower. Um, you're only going to get about one and a quarter people in this one. OK, yes, it's got clingies. I'm sorry about that. Uh, it does come equipped with your white company product uh, shampoo and also is that conditioner? No, it's bath and shower gel. Uh, if you want conditioner, just ask your cabin stewardess or steward. What I will say about this shower is it's actually quite powerful and hot. I'm going to demonstrate that to you now. There's also a retractable washing line up here. You're gonna need that for your swimming trunks after you've been in one of the freezing cold pools on board. Yeah, they're really cold. Hooks on the back of the door, thank goodness for your towels. Whilst it's not gonna win any awards for aesthetics, I get that, it's not a bad space. And in fact, definitely bigger than um, the cabin I had on Princess Cruises just recently. Thank you, bathroom. I appreciate you very much. Let's talk rise and dine. That was over the top. So what? If you'd like a light breakfast delivered to your cabin in the morning, you need to indicate what items you'd like and hang this outside your cabin by 10 p.m. As I said, it is a light breakfast. We're talking cereals, fruit, yogurt, juice, and uh, pastries. But this is included in your cruise fare on board Aurora. No trade charge. What does come with surcharge, however, is room service for all your other meal times. Let's have a look. All right, so these are the items available to you. Indeed, this is the same menu on all P&O ships. Uh, the slight difference being that there's no trade charge on Aurora, whereas on the larger ships, there is. You'll notice as well um, the surcharge per item on this menu, uh, which will be billed directly to your account. People often ask me, oh, if we went to the buffet, can we bring food back to our cabin? Hell yes, my darlings, I do it all the time. You can also have bubbles and wine, spirits, mixers, soft drinks, beers, ciders, non-alcoholic beverages uh, delivered to your cabin. They have to be consumed in your cabin as well by all accounts. There's a laundry service available for you as well. And yes, there are laundrettes on board Aurora. So if you don't want to spend this kind of money on getting your s'mores done, head to the laundrette. That's where we're going now. Let's have a peep, shall we? Any gossip to be had? Probably not. Right, so we are currently here. We need to go forward to our laundrette. Not all laundrettes are forward, having said that. On deck nine, we've got one that is aft. It's probably quicker just to go down two flights. I mean decks, decks, not flights. Oh God, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. I see you. Wow, this is exciting, isn't it? So laundry is open from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. Wow, not a bad size at all. What do you reckon? There's all sorts of warning signs and caution this, caution that. God, 
There was a time when people could just be responsible for their own actions if they mucked up. Well, it was their fault. <laughs> Listen to me. Ah, sorry. Super important information on your cycle times. I don't really understand how this works. Oh, rinse and spin, that sounds fun. I don't see any vending areas for detergents and so on. I'd bring my own, to be honest with you. It might be you can get some from the shop, maybe from reception, but actually, for convenience, just bring a few of your own little sheets or pods, my darlings. It's what Matthew would do. Right, before we head back in, let me show you one of the benefits about being uh, towards the aft on deck 11, A deck. Well, I am quite literally just a few steps away from the outside deck, it's true. Look at this. Well, I may be inside, but the fresh air is not far away. And actually right above, one deck above, there's a pennant bar. Yes. On that note, be aware, this is considered a high deck and we are aft, which means you could feel the movement of the ocean more here than being low down and midship. Having said that, deck 11 isn't actually high, high, high in the cruise world anymore. If you're not sensitive to the movement of the ship, well, this could be an ideal location for you and not just because you can escape quickly for some fresh air, but also the convenience of this location being right next to the stairwell and lifts. On that note, I didn't hear any noise at all last night when I went to bed, all the way through the night, uh, and indeed this morning, and I had a little bit of a line as well. Uh, that surprises me given the proximity to the stairwell and the lifts. I didn't hear any of it. Oh, I am half deaf. I don't think that's relevant. <laughs> Honestly, it's a quiet location. As far as inside cabins go, I'm actually very happy with this one. It has more floor space than I'm used to in an inside cabin. Okay, it's pretty old fashioned. It's old hat piano. Um, I can cope with that given the extra space and the comfort. And yes, it's super clean. My cabin steward called Rocky yes, is doing a fabulous job. It would be good to have larger TVs and ones with movies on demand like the newer ships, no doubt about it. And don't come for me saying, you don't go on a cruise to watch a film. I'm not judging you or anyone else. Let people do what they want. Okay, I am judging you if you're judging others. So that makes us both judgy. Judgy eyes. And yes, the bathroom, plastic aroma, clingy curtains, uh, but again, a good space. Would I sail in a cabin like this again? I absolutely would. I'm loving my sideways cabins. I've just done one on Princess. It was great. Question is, what do you think? Drop your comments below. I would love to hear from you. Have you stayed in a cabin like this? Would you stay in a cabin like this? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? I'm all ears, deaf ears. And don't forget, I have multiple vlogs all about P&O Aurora. Just search Travel Blog Jamie P&O Aurora. It's as simple as that. Thank you for your support as we head towards 32,000 subscribers. It's cray cray. Today's shout outs go to my tiers three, four, and five patrons. And oh my goodness, my loves. Yes, you too could become a patron. Just search patreon.com forward slash Travel Blog Jamie. For your personalized videos, just search cameo.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. And special thanks to my tier five members, Steph, Ryan, The Duties, Coopton Mark, Melissa, Catherine, Tara, Cindy, Graham, Elaine, The Hadwins, Heather, and Mark and Seema. Thanks for watching and don't forget, we can follow each other on Facebook, Jamie W. Robbins, X Threads and Instagram at Travel Blog Jamie, and of course, right here, right now on YouTube.